<laughs> well, <laughs> disaster struck. Listen to this. Here's the E string. That works. Here's the A string. But in my tune book, a tune a day, I'm supposed to be working on the D string. Listen to the D string. It's this one. Got up this morning. Well, it came, well, I don't know. It's not like it's the morning right now, but the string, it broke last night. I tried to tune it. I tried to bring it up to pitch. Oh, and there it really broke that time, which is, I guess it's no worse off than before. But that'll happen on a string instrument. I mean, these strings, like, I don't know if you remember me saying this, but I, the, the work that I had done on this instrument, that's, that's the better part of 20 years ago. So I'm not surprised that that string broke, but it is uh, kind of a catastrophe for me. So all I can do today is practice on my E and my A. That's about it. Now, thing is, I don't think anybody wants to hear me. <laughs> my one son is recording in the basement. He doesn't want to hear me. My other son is doing his homework upstairs. He doesn't want to hear me. And my darling wife, she's doing a tutorial for her. She's actually, she's a college, she teaches college. And she's got, there's this new camera that she has to learn. She teaches, um, she teaches television broadcast media so uh she has to learn about new equipment and she doesn't want to hear me squeaking and squawking away either so i guess i gotta practice outside but i don't think the neighbors want to hear me that's the tricky part about music sometimes <laughs> Well, I brought my old violin, my family's old violin, here to Reedstra's Violin Repair. Uh, it's gonna cost probably about $200 to get, uh, I have to get a new bow, gotta get some new strings put on, have to get a bridge adjustment. There's like a bunch of stuff. It'll be 200 bucks anyway. Hmm. Lucky for me, this very nice repair technician offered to show me how to change the strings myself so that I can do this next time. We had to be outside because it's much safer if you're with somebody that you don't live with. You have to be, it's much safer to be outside. But wasn't that nice of him to show me how to do this? That locks it without having it crossing itself. Well, that was very cool. That was very nice of him to show me how to change those strings myself. That man has dedicated his adult life to learning to be the best violin repair technician that he can possibly be. And he just gave me about half an hour of his time for free. He charges $50 an hour to do the repair work that he does. So, you know, sometimes it's smart any i know sometimes it can be boring maybe listening to adults talk or whatever but anytime you've got an expert who is willing to show you things about something that you're interested in it is worth being patient even if you find it boring at the time it is worth it man well, yeah, so I'm a little bit sad. Uh, I had to give up my violin for a whole week. For a whole week, I won't be able to practice. Because here's the thing. That nice man who showed me how to change the strings, 
he can't do the repair work on that violin until it has sat untouched by anyone for three days. Just in case I'm carrying COVID-19, he does not want to get that on his hands. So he's not even allowed to touch that violin for three days. On the fourth day, he'll do the work, but then no one else is allowed to touch that violin for three days. So then that's why I have to wait for a whole week because three plus one plus three is seven. That's seven days. Anyway, you folks have a good week. I'll give you another update once I get that sucker back. Take care.